What's going on YouTube? I am back with another one today. And in this one, this is gonna be my uh, last video before the National. So today is Wednesday. I believe the National actually does start tonight. Uh, I think it's kind of like a sneak preview day uh, from four to eight. And then tomorrow, I think it's kind of like the official first day. So I will be there tomorrow on Thursday for the entire day. We are, uh, I, my wife and I are driving up super early tomorrow and getting there when it opens. And then we're gonna stay the whole day and then go to trade night. So I figured I would make this video uh, kinda, since it's it's one day out from the national, I just wanted to make a video and kinda go over my plans, what I'm looking for, uh, what I'm gonna be doing, buying, selling, trading. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and get right into it. Um, this is my uh, first national, so I'm super excited. Been looking forward to it <clears throat> for a while now. Uh, so when I get there, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is head to the blowout booth. Uh, they started last year, I saw doing the blowout uh, mega mix, which is a box that they put together for $200. And uh, it's kind of random what you can get. You can get autograph memorabilia, you can get full boxes in there. Uh, and then I think they are giving away two grand prizes, which are two tickets to the Panini VIP party on Saturday, which would be absolutely insane. And they did do an online pre-sell of that, but I missed out on that. Um, so I'm gonna, hopefully they'll still have some tomorrow. And that's gonna be the first thing I do is head over there and try to pick one of those up. Uh, like I said, uh, from, from what I've heard, they're pretty awesome. I mean, you can pay $200 and get a box of National Treasures in your box. So it, it can has the potential to be pretty insane. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And then uh, I also wanna participate in some box wars. So I know that I looked at the schedule uh, for Thursday and at 3.30 they are doing Prism Fast, Breaks, fast Break Box Wars. So definitely wanna participate in that. Um, I wanna get uh, as many silver packs as I can. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the wrapper redemption. I did look at that list, and the only thing that I would really kind of be interested in is the Optic Fast Break, which I believe is around 60 or $70 right now. And I think it was either three or four silver packs for that. So I'm not sure if I just wanna find some dealers and buy silver packs, or if I wanna actually do the wrapper redemption myself. Uh, might, might do a little bit of both, might do a mix there. Uh, we'll see. And then um, let me, I'll go ahead and get into some of this stuff in front of, in front of me uh, before I continue with kind of my to-do list. So I, I separated this stuff into three piles. It's gonna be uh, sell, grade, and sell slash trade. So I'll go ahead and get into the sell stuff first. So this stuff is sell only. This is my Kyler Murray. Uh, elite to 25 that I pulled out of the first off the line box. Um, and again, there there's no guarantees that I'm gonna get rid of this stuff at the National. So if you are interested in any of this stuff, definitely uh, hit me up on Instagram or send me an email because while I'm taking this to the National to try to move it, there's no guarantees that I will. So if you are interested and you won't be at the National or something, uh, definitely let me know. So this is Kyler Murray to 25 with the dumbest autograph ever. Uh, I'm not sure what Panini was thinking with the gold on gold. I think that really killed the value on this card, but still an awesome card nonetheless. Nonetheless, uh, number one draft pick. So that's awesome. So this one is sell only. Another sell only is my Marvin Bagley uh, Prism Fast Break that I just showed off that we got back from uh, PSA this week. So Jim Mint 10, Marvin Bagley Prism Fast Break to 20. So very short print there. Only PSA 10 to ever be listed on eBay is right here. So there you go. And my last sell only, which is very overpriced because I don't really wanna get rid of it. But if, if someone makes an offer that I can't refuse, uh, I won't refuse it. So we got our Luca that we pulled from Encased. Uh, on card 9-5, 10 auto, 75. So there you go, there is my uh, three sell only cards. And I did mention uh, in my last PSA um, results video from yesterday that I sent cards to Clay Cards on Instagram and he did the big group submission. So then he will be at the National. So I plan on dropping off a few more to him to get graded. So we have our Luca, 
out of uh, Select, the Phenomenon. Another Luca out of Prism Mosaic. This is the blue, so it's not numbered, but still a little shorter print than the base. We got an Anthony Simon silver card. And one of the guys, he is, I, I forgot to mention, uh, I'll try to touch on some, some guys that I'm looking for and some cards I want to pick up uh, in a little bit, but he's definitely one of them. I think he has huge potential. He had that big game at the end of the last season where he scored over 40 points, and then he absolutely tore it up in the summer league. So he has some major potential. So I'm, uh, I'm kind of hoping that I can find some dollar boxes and people threw his cards in there before uh, he kind of blew up. So hopefully we can get lucky on him. And then the last two is the Michael Porter Jr. Red Ice and Marvin Bagley Red Ice uh, out of Prism. So those five cards I'm, I'm planning on drop, dropping off to clay cards uh, to be graded. And then we will get into our sell slash trade pile. So I am going to trade night after the show on Thursday. And uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to be looking for is Lamar Jackson cards, Donovan Mitchell cards, uh, Bagley, Simons, Wendell Carter Jr. So this is the stuff that I plan on bringing uh, for trade bait. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, uh, let me know. So we got our Alonzo Morning that we pulled out of Encased. That's the first off the line exclusive to 12. Same here, Theo Ratliff to 12. There's our Nick Anderson, uh, David Thompson, Jaron Jackson Pink Ice, Jaron Jackson um, Optic Hollow, Kevin Knox uh, out of Prism Fast Break, Luck of the Lottery, and then we have the same card but the just the silver. And then we have Shy Gilgis Alexander out of Fast Break. And then we have some uh, Prism White Sparkle out of uh, Draft Picks. So there's an Aaron Rodgers. And these, all these uh, White Sparkle cards are going to be numbered to 15. So very, very short print on these. We have John Elway. Michael Irvin. And then we have a Jimmy G out of Elite. And this is actually out of 10. So another short print there. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Jimmy G out of Elite. And then we move back to uh, the White Sparkle. We have Marquise Brown and David Montgomery. These are probably the two of the better cards that I pulled from the White Sparkle packs. Two rookies there. And then we have Miles Boykin, Blue Ink Auto. Michael Porter Jr., Phoenix out of Chronicles. And this is the purple, which is out of 49. Can't really see that, it's kind of tough. But out of 49, and then we have our dual auto pin pals, Jared Stidham and Nikhil Harry. Both super clean autos on the card. Love that card. And then our last one is Anthony Simons out of Optic. So the rated rookie auto on card. And that is pretty much what I'm taking with me. And then uh, just kind of back, oh, I, sorry, I missed these. We're taking our shy Gilgis Alexander out of Encase, the graded one. And then our two PSA baseball cards, Wander Franco and Julio Rodriguez. So those are also up for trade. And that is gonna do it for what I'm bringing with me. And then kind of back to my to-do list real quick. I don't wanna keep y'all too long. Uh, so Gary V will be there. So I'm hoping to meet him. And uh, I do have his book. So I'd like to get his book signed, which would be awesome, maybe a picture with him. And then uh, I did mention, I just want to kind of go through some $1, $5, $10 boxes and see what I can find. Uh, some of those guys that I mentioned, Anthony Simons, uh, Bagley, uh, let's see, who else we got? Um, maybe Michael Porter Jr., Lamar Jackson, Donovan Mitchell, just, just any of those guys. Uh, and then probably some more that I'm forgetting, just trying to find some deals. I've heard that people kind of start making their dollar boxes like months in advance. So guys like Anthony Simons, who just recently blew up, you know, you could get some steals. So definitely want to uh, test that out. <clears throat> and then that's actually pretty much it for the day. And then after the show, I do plan on attending the trade night, um, which goes from six to 10. So it is going to be a very long day. We are getting up very early to drive to Chicago. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day, but I'm looking forward to it. And then also uh, we do I'm I'm coming prepared. I have lots of supplies I'm bringing, 
So 130 point uh, top loaders, regular top loaders, 75 point top loaders. We got plenty of sleeves and then some one touches. So one thing I'm hoping uh, that I don't have enough of is one touches. I just have two 35 points and one 130. So hopefully I need more because that'll mean I'm getting some pretty good cards. Um, but that's gonna do it. Just kind of wanted to go over an overview of what I'm gonna be looking to do at the National. And I plan on coming with lots of videos uh, from my time at the National and just in Chicago in general. So definitely be on the lookout for videos coming soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Cause like I said, we got lots of videos coming. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks.